Hi guys, my name is Mehul Agarwal and in this video I am going to talk about my uh, quant strategy for CAT. Uh, in the previous video where I spoke about my overall strategy which is available on the CK Set King YouTube channel, uh, I spoke about some basic fundamentals that you need to follow with respect to the overall preparation strategy and with respect to the entire test when you're looking at it from a complete uh, 3R perspective. But in this video I am going to specifically focus on the quant section and walk you through uh, understanding what my strategy was which may help you build your own strategy what i'd recommend is that do not copy my strategy 100 percent because every individual is different and uh, what you can instead do is that uh, understand my strategy and pick up things from it that you think will fit in well in your scheme of things and make a strategy for yourself before i actually dive into the strategy part of the video I will uh, show you what my raw scores in cons were in the two years uh, when I took CAT. In the first year, uh, I did not have a very sound strategy for CAT. And in the second year, I prepared better in terms of the strategy and in terms of the focus that I uh, put in. So, yeah. My score in CAT 2018 was 39 marks, which uh, is 95.59 percentile in that year. And in CAT 2019, it jumped to 81 marks, which amounts to 99.92 percentile. The reason behind this jump was a change in strategy and an increased effort into understanding the fundamentals of uh, the various topics and quants, which I hadn't done in 2018. I had stuck to a few topics in 2018 and hadn't covered all the topics to achieve a score of more than 99 percentile, so which I tried to improve in uh, 2019. In the next slide, I'm going to walk you through uh, four basic fundamentals which will help you understand my strategy and which will help you understand what are the major changes that I made in these two years while preparing for CAT. So to understand my strategy for preparation of cons, I have divided my entire strategy into four buckets, uh, which are self-analysis, setting a target for yourself, strategizing and executing. When I say self-analysis, what I mean is that you need to understand what your strengths and weaknesses are. Um, you need absolute clarity before you actually dive into the strategizing bit of it or the execution bit of it. So you need to understand which are the topics that you think you are most comfortable with. For example, for me, topics like uh, arithmetic or APJP uh, or uh, maybe a bit of algebra was something that I was comfortable with but at the same time topics like geometry or number systems or permutation combinations were topics that seemed challenging to me. So uh, I wanted absolute clarity on this and I think even uh, you should get clarity on where your strengths and weaknesses lie because this will help you in uh, strategizing your way ahead. Uh, the second thing is to set a target for yourself. You need to understand what you're actually looking for and what are you aiming for as a score from cons. Uh, I think all of you will be able to uh, think of it for yourself. For example, uh, what I did was that I had a psych psychological target of a score of 200 and was uh, wanting to score more than 65, 70 marks in cons. And I thought uh, if I put in a lot of effort, I will be able to do that. And I needed to do that to get a score of 200, which was a psychological score that I had set for myself uh, when I was taking CAT for the second time. To do that, it required me to put in a lot of effort into quants and into the different uh, topics that come under quants. Because if you're aiming for something like what I was aiming for, you can't afford to leave out any topic. So if you're aiming for that, then I'd, I'd recommend that do each and every topic well. Uh, because only then you'll be able to get a score of uh, more than 99.5 percentile. But if you if you are uh, only aiming for a 90 to 95 percentile bracket or a 90 to 97 percentile bracket, you can uh, go and leave a few topics. For example, I had completely left out geometry uh, in my first attempt and I still managed to score a 95.5 percentile. So what I'm saying is that you need to understand uh, what your uh, st what your target is and once you do that it will help you strategize better and it will help you uh, prepare better uh, so yeah self-analysis is one setting a target for yourself is two and the third part is actually strategizing uh, under this there are two things that you need to look at 
one is strategizing your prep journey and the other is strategizing uh, your mocks uh, so when you're strategizing your prep journey uh, what you need to understand is that uh, your cat preparation journey will will be from anywhere from 4 months to maybe a year and uh, you need to understand how much time you have in hand and ration out your time in all the subjects or in all the topics that you need more understanding of and strategize your prep journey in a way that you have enough time for revision and you have enough time for each topic in the sense that you do not do not need to uh, rush through topics that you have chosen so uh, planning for that is important and at the same time when you are planning for it have enough contingencies because i am sure because this is such a long journey of preparation there will be instances where you will falter hum log sab insaan hi hai so everyone will make errors everyone will lose uh, their pace and uh, slip from their timeline so keep room for that and prepare in that way what i did was that i picked up geometry uh, as the first topic which i wanted to prepare and i i spent about a month understanding geometry very well uh from triangles to circles to uh, quadrilaterals i understand every bit of fundamental of geometry uh and that was something that gave me a lot of confidence because now i was being able to solve geometry questions in mocks which i wasn't being able to do earlier uh so strategize give yourself enough time uh, for the preparation as far as the mocks are considered uh there are two three points that i'd like to to mention which you might keep in mind as your strategy one thing that everyone talks about is increasing marks per minute and uh choosing a method where you're leaving out questions that do not uh, seem easy to you i think yes that is the approach that you should go ahead with you should leave questions that are not seeming easy to easy to do but uh thinking of executing this strategy is very easy because uh, it it seems as an easy thing to do but actually executing it is very very difficult because when you're in the mock and when you leave four five questions uh, at a stretch then leaving the sixth question after it becomes much more difficult because the stakes keep going higher with every question but this is a constant battle that you'll have to fight with yourself throughout the mocks and throughout the throughout the preparation journey and i think uh, once you have enough practice on the mocks and enough practice with the strategy then you will come to a point where uh, actually deciding on whether the question is easy medium or difficult will become very easy for you uh, because you practiced enough because you're doing everything in a structured systematic way so uh, yeah stick to the strategy of leaving out questions that seem difficult to you but at the same time uh, be patient with your preparation journey because getting the knack of picking the right question to solve will take some time so yeah even even i did this uh, it took time for me to actually nurture this skill of picking the right question i struggled a lot with it in the beginning and i thought this was a strategy uh, this was a very wrong strategy to take because i'm wasting time on reading questions and not solving them but i think wasting time on actually only reading the question and not solving them is much better than wasting time on reading the question solving them and then realizing that this was not right, not the right question to solve so yeah i think uh, spend time on uh, nurturing the strategy and you'll do fine the fourth part is execution uh, planning is something that everyone uh, can do very well but um, execution of it is something that is much much more challenging because cat is a long journey it is a marathon uh you need to be uh, at your a game throughout there will be instances where you'll feel down and low uh, where you'll not be able to uh put in much effort into preparation but uh what you need to do is you need to take care of your mental health at the same time while you're preparing for cat and be in a shape which helps you uh last through the journey of preparation because i think that is more important and being able to execute well only depends on how motivated you are for cat and how fresh you are keeping your mental health so yeah these this is everything that i uh, wanted to mention uh, i think with enough uh, grit and with enough uh, focus on the exam cat is something that uh, a lot of people can crack so uh, i think whatever you are you are thinking of yourself you are doing much better than that and uh, 
बस लगे रहो वी कैन डू इट If there is anything else that you would want to ask me, uh, you can just put it in the comments. I'll read through them. Or what you can do is you can uh, email me at mehul a g nine eight at gmail dot com. I'll respond to your emails uh, for sure. Thank you.